Question 10. So hopefully you've had a good read of this down here. So let's think about where O, so C. So C is up here somewhere because it tells me the point C is such that OC is twice OA. So it's up there. Then we're told that M is, is the midpoint of AB. And then we're told there's a straight line CM that carries on and hits point N down here. Right, there we are. And we're told that that's A and that's B. So that's also A. Right, just put the direction on as well. Right. Okay, so what's the first question? The first question is find CM. So CM. So how do we get from there to there? So it's going to be CA plus half of AB. So plus half of AB. So CA is, so that's minus A, and then we got plus half, whoops, don't want that to go out of shot. So AB is minus A plus B. So minus A plus B. Now, if we just tidy that up, that's going to give us minus 3 over 2A and plus half B. So that's CM, just there. Right, now... When we go to part B, because part B looks a little bit scary. Now, this thing here is just a scalar, okay? So don't don't worry too much about it, okay? It looks like looks looks a little bit scary. Um, just think about why they've asked you to work this out, okay? So it's like there's usually a reason why they've asked you to work something out. So there's part A. Let's have a look at part B. So let's think about well, how would you work out O N? So to go from O to N, remember I don't know how far along the line it is at the moment. So I'm going to go OC and then plus CN. Now, all CN is, is it's just an enlargement of CM. Right, OC is 2A and then we've got Lambda times, so what was CM? Well, we just worked this out up here. So minus 3 over 2A plus B half B. Whoops, squeeze that half in just there. Right, so let's just tidy that up a little bit. So I've got 2A plus, or rather minus, 3 over 2A lambda plus um, a half B lambda. Let's have a little look to see where we're trying to get to. So they've just grouped the A's together. So let's just write it in the same format is, is what we're actually told to down here. So all they've done is just taking A out as a factor. And then we've got 2, take away 3 over 2 and the scale factor. And, and then we've got plus half. Just write it the right way round terms of what they've just they've asked us to do right there we go right there's part b now let's have a look at part c now the key thing about part c so it's saying o n to n b so it's talking about this part this to this well i know that whatever o n is it's got to be it's, it can only contain b so this part here must be equal to zero Okay, so that bit has got to be equal to zero because it's not going to attain any A. So that's like the key bit of the question. So we know that. What that allows us to do is that allows us to work out what this scale factor is here, like the scalar. All right, so that's given us that to be 4 over 3. So now if we just substitute that into here, we can find out what B is. So, or rather, O N. Sorry. So, O N is going to be equal. So, this is, I know this is just worked out to be zero. So, it's going to be a half times four over three B. So that's going to be four over six. So that's two thirds. I should also be able to tell you now that N B. 
So remember the whole thing's B. So therefore that must be, so that must equal one third of B. Okay, so two thirds of B, one third of B. So in ratio terms, that's twice as big as that one. There we are.